Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan and on this channel you'll find financial, travel and more videos. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll talk about BMO and CIBC Simply Financial uh, news just uh, broke out and that uh, these uh, two bank accounts got hacked. And uh, before I start, I would like to introduce myself uh, if this is the first time you're watching this channel. Uh, on this channel, you'll find uh, various videos, uh, mainly financial travel and other videos. 99% of the times, if you're reading a credit card reviews or banking product reviews on any website or anywhere else, uh, basically those are actually paid for by the credit card companies or their affiliated reviews. Uh, they're not honest or unbiased reviews. So the company, the websites are trying to make you uh, sign up for those credit cards by mentioning. Uh, or giving you names such as the best credit card or uh, you know uh, these are the five top picks these are the three or ten top picks so whenever you're signing up using those links they make money so they have a valid reason not to give you the bad things behind the credit cards they'll uh, only tell you the good things and uh, however on my channel I do not uh, have any affiliated links or anything so all the reviews and uh, opinions are honest unbiased and up to the uh, point so if you haven't subscribed already uh, please subscribe now and if you like what you see please give it a thumbs uh, thumbs up uh, because there will be uh, more videos coming up and also I'd like to mention that uh, using uh, or utilizing credit card rewards and points I travel uh, the globe and you'll find uh, lots of uh, travel videos on my channel so these uh, travels actually uh, uh, was made it made possible uh, because of the credit card uh, rewards points so I uh, provide tips on those two and you'll see some of the uh, travel videos here and there will be more videos coming up and I do not just post one uh, specific topic or subject so you'll find a variety of videos so CIBC and uh, uh, BMO and CIBC is simply financial uh, mentioned this morning uh, that uh, some, some of the accounts were hacked. Uh, the news broke out first at uh, CIBC and then the BMO later on followed the path and they mentioned that uh, some of the accounts, uh, to be more specific, CIBC said about 40,000 accounts and BMO said about 50,000 accounts uh, were uh, have been compromised and uh, it looks like uh, by uh, the tone of their uh, news release that you know they were tipped off actually by the hackers. Uh, they didn't find out uh, these things uh, by themselves so there's uh, like you know it, it should raise a point or flag why the hackers are tipping them off so what I believe could happen that you know the uh, hackers are trying to probably blackmail them uh, they would say that you know they have some information and if they do not give what they're asking for then they would release or make this information public and there are some news that some of the people's accounts were uh, like you know their money there were money transferred out of some accounts and uh, however CIBC and uh, BA, uh, Simply Financial or CIA BMO uh, they haven't uh, they're saying that they'll reach out to those who are affected once they find out uh, however uh, without just like you know sitting and doing nothing there's some steps you can take take and that's what I'll talk about today and uh, some other news that uh, which concerned me that uh, CIBC uh, Simply Financial has about uh, I believe two million accounts and they are mentioning that only forty thousand um, accounts are hacked. So the number seems to be very low. So at this point, uh, I do not know or, or, or no one knows if these numbers are correct. On you know, uh, there's more uh, now higher numbers, but they're just giving a smaller number so the general population or their customers uh, do not panic. So instead of uh, doing nothing, uh, these are the steps you can take right now. So the first thing, uh, log on to your account, try to log on to your account, and if you see that you cannot log on to your account, then that's your, that should be your flag number one. So that means you know something is wrong, then you should call your bank immediately if you cannot access your account. Number two, let's say if you're able to access your account, then the first thing you should be doing is that Whenever you log into any account, uh, would it be like uh, a credit card or bank account, then on the main screen, uh, there is a place where it shows you when you accessed the account last time or when you logged into the last time. So pay attention to that time and 
check that you know if it's you who accessed that account that time because once you access your account again second time you're not gonna be able to see that time anymore because then it will show you the first time you access so pay attention for the first time after uh, listening to this video or uh, watching this video uh, that you know when the account was accessed last time and if it matches with your own access time then uh, you know uh, that's 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 a good sign and then after that what you can do go through all the transactions if you have several accounts under same bank then uh, check uh, each account uh, and go through all the transactions and see that if any, any uh, there were any transactions were made which you do not recognize uh, the transactions you should be looking for mainly uh, transfer out EFT or paying something or buying something but any transactions let's say you do not recognize uh, should raise flag and you should contact the bank uh, immediately and the other thing you can do uh, don't just stop here uh, doing this one time uh, try to check your account uh, every day for a few days and then once uh, things cool down and uh, you know, once BMO and uh, CIBC they mentioned that you know uh, everything is uh, have been uh, fixed or everything is under control then you can check it less often but I would suggest that for the next few days uh, log into your account every time and uh, see if there's any irregular activities and this is like you know later on uh, because uh, what you can do later on much later because at this point we do not know if they have our uh, addresses uh, or our personal information so they can open up uh, credit cards or other bank accounts using the information they have or they can try to do something else so keep an eye uh, on your credit score and credit report you can easily uh, obtain uh, free a credit score and credit report from some of the Canadian uh, financial companies uh, which uh, would be for example Borrowell, Mogo, uh, Trans, uh, Credit Karma and even r these days the banks are giving you free credit score uh, most of the major banks they have the service uh, I know that uh, CIBC has it, Scotia has it but uh, I believe other banks may have it too, for example, RBC or TD. So whenever you uh, get the opportunity to sign up for this free credit report and credit score and keep an eye on your you know, uh, credit score and credit report to see if there is like, you know, a dent or ding on your score or if someone is trying to open an account or someone is trying to change address or if someone is trying to change any personal information. So let's say uh, this just happened today and it doesn't mean like you know nothing could uh, nothing else could happen after one month or down the road in three months you should always be keeping an eye on this because you don't know when the hackers are like you know uh, trying to open an account for you uh, even much later uh, they might just sit right now and do nothing and once the whole thing uh, you know gets forgotten forgotten then they will uh, you know try to open new accounts or change addresses or they can do so many things so the best thing to do would be just to keep an eye and uh, be vigilant and always like you know check and pay attention to your credit report and credit score and anytime if you have any questions or if you see anything ir irregular activities or if you have any doubt just call your uh, bank's customer service right away and uh, let them know your concerns so that should be uh, and they will uh, they should be able to take care of that or you know address some issues you may have so that's all I have for now if you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and on this channel you'll find uh, news or uh, opinion or uh, video clips just like the one you're uh, watching right now. So if this is something you'd like to uh, be notified of in the future, please subscribe and if you like uh, today's video, please hit the like button. Thank you and I'll see you shortly. Bye.